What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock, what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down the latest delivery report for Neo that just came out for the month of November. I'm going to go over some more details about this and talk about whether or not Neo could actually meet their expected goal that has to come up for the end of the year. Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things real quick. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and into the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is any could be a free NEO share. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just two weeks. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So anyways, guys, looking at the data, I want to talk about something very important. Neo had this latest deliveries report, and we actually saw the share price soar to the moon after it came out. What's interesting about it is Neo delivered 14,178 vehicles in November alone. Let's go. That's a new record high monthly delivery report, an increase of 30.3% year over year. That is massive. Massive, massive, successful growth that makes me very, very bullish. In total, the cumulative deliveries is equivalent to about 273,741. That's incredible. I remember when I was actually talking about this, uh, Neo was actually in the 100,000s at the time. Now we're already approaching the 300,000s. So massive, massive growth from Neo. But now I want to break down the numbers specifically and then talk about the thing that William Liebin said and whether or not Neo could actually meet expectations. So I'm going to open this in a new tab and then I can actually zoom into this so it's easier to see. Once again, 14,000 deliveries in November. That's a new all-time high high for Neo in a month. Now, if you look at the growth, we are seeing almost every single one of the dark blue rectangles. And just remember, the dark blue ones are 2022. The light blue ones represent 2021. Then we have all the months of the year here. Obviously, they're in pairs. So one's for last year and the one, other one to the rights for the next year. We could see quite clearly, okay? January, Neo killed it. February, we killed it. March, we killed it. April, we were kind of weak because of the lockdown situation, right? And we were also kind of weak in May. We should have crushed this by much, much, much more. And to make up for this and for the backlog in deliveries, Neo killed it in June. They did very, very well during that month. And then after that, Neo has just been on fire since then. They've been doing better and better and better, with the exception, I think, only being like September. Uh, besides that, they've been doing very, very well for the remainder of the year. But now the focus has shifted in Q4. And just remember, last time during Q4, I mean, I don't know if we can truly count October because of the big supply chain constraints they had. But my point is, they did around like 20,000 or 25,000 deliveries, something like that last year. Currently, Neo has already done about 25,000 deliveries or almost that much just from... Uh, October and November alone. All right. So we're seeing this big increase in deliveries showing the big expansions being made to Neo Park. But remember what William Lee Ben said. He said you need to expect 43 to 48,000 deliveries for Q4 of this year. So Neo set the expectation very, very high. Could they actually meet that goal? What do they have to do to meet it? Well, if you take the 10,000 deliveries from October and you add it to November's 14,000, you get about 24,000 deliveries, which means that Neil is at least 19,000 deliveries short of, of reaching the Q4 goal. So we need Q4 to actually see a December, a close of this year, of 19,000 plus deliveries. That's going to be almost Neo's first 20,000 delivery month, almost. I believe it's achievable, but I'm still a little bit concerned because of the issues in China. I know that in China right now, there's a slowdown in demand, but we did actually see a big increase in overall 
uh, in the buying pressure of EV sales, at least for this quarter. So that could actually help them. And I do believe the demand is there. It's just that overall in China with the lockdowns, it is also affecting demand in the opposite direction. So it's kind of like a mix of both worlds where demand is increasing but at the same time in other regions. It's slowing down because of lockdowns. But overall, guys, I'm not too worried about them having enough customers to deliver to. I still believe there is potential for them to actually meet it despite that because of how rambunctious and crazy December really tends to be. Now, on top of that, I want to note something else that's important, and that is how on earth are they going to get to these numbers with inflation, with many constraints out there? To me, I mean, I believe it's going to be pretty difficult because we're seeing a big uh, decrease in a lot of margins out there. It's really be being affected and it's affecting lots of companies like Tesla as well. But I do believe that the edge that NEO has would be their expansions and the support that they have from the government. I believe that could give them a big edge in this and it increases the odds of them meeting those goals. Because in my opinion, from the time I've listened to him, William Lee Bin tends to be a man of his word. Remember, he, he was talking about the expansions like about two, I would say one to two years ago, and they happened. We saw Neo entering Denmark and Norway and Germany and so on and so forth. They're doing so well in that end. So for them to get 19,000 deliveries, it's going to be very difficult, but it is very possible. Now, another thing I wanted to note is the fact that you could tell that Neo has a tendency of pushing very, very high numbers for the, their deliveries. They always want to break previous records. So at the current rate in which Neo is actually producing and delivering cars, it's going to be equivalents about 168,000 per year, but that does not account for increases. So if they keep increasing, for example, for next year, and they, they give us like 14,000 for January, then another 14,000 for February, and then, or maybe like a little less for February because of Lunar New Year, but don't worry about that. Then we get like 15,000, then 17,000, right? 20,000, so on and so forth. With that growth, it's projected that Neo could give us 200,000 plus deliveries for just 2023 alone. That's incredible. And to put that into perspective, Tesla last year in 2021 did under a million in deliveries. So that is still like about five times as big. But if you consider how Neo was actually increasing at such a fast rate, and we are seeing massive growth and expansion in the company, it could actually still see very steady growth. And over the next few years, I could see Neo catching up to those numbers that Tesla produced in 2021. And I'm being very realistic when I say that. So that's part of why I'm still very, very bullish on this company. I do believe this company is going to kill it as time goes on. Now, I know that geopolitical issues can get in the way, but I don't necessarily think it's going to kill this company off because they've done a lot of very, very great things to in improve their diplomacy with other countries, to put themselves out there and to continue to expand. So I'm still very, very bullish. So for their next report for December, I want to see 19,000 plus deliveries. If William Lee Bin is going to keep his word, we have to see it. If they give us like 20 plus thousand, it's not just about like how our delivery is going to you know, go for them. It's also the share price, right? I also want to talk about that because Neo share price has taken big hits uh, throughout the year. What's good about it is, okay, let's just say the report comes out in January. So January 1st or so, which is actually just a couple of weeks away. It's only like four weeks away. This is good because... When January comes, Neo is going to have their delivery report for December. And if in December they actually hit like 20,000 deliveries, man, the share price might soar. We might see this thing have to make a big move. We could even get to some very, very high value. It's also going to depend on global situations and things like that. But like I said, we could still see this thing make a very, very nice move, especially because Neo Day tends to be very close as well. So there are many things now working in Neo's favor, and I could actually see the share price continue to see some pretty decent growth over the next couple of weeks. Now, I don't want to promise that it's going to be consistent growth the entire time. There will be some drawbacks and some slowdowns because of, who knows, maybe inflation causes it causes it or something else. But overall, guys, I do believe Neo has some big catalysts coming ahead of it that could actually help the share price as we approach those specific dates. All right, so I'm talking about Neo Day, not to mention their next deliveries report, which is going to be coming out in January, the very beginning of January for the month of uh, December. Big things are coming. Let's see Neo kill it. The future still looks very, very bright. I'm still very bullish. Anyways, thank you all so much for listening. I hope you guys have an absolutely incredible weekend, an incredible rest of the day. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.